It's snowing this morning. Getting me and Dan are getting on our lounges. We're gonna put down a couple big bucks by nine o'clock. It's gonna be easy. It's opening morning of gun season. I haven't got me a shot at another big one yet. It is a 20 mile an hour wind. So it's like, a, it's, like it's about 10 degrees out. I don't know what's going to move through here. I'm going to hunt this little river bottom spot where I have been. And just hope maybe there's a big cruising buck that don't win me that comes through. Last year, I didn't even shoot one with, well, I know I shot a doe with a gun. I've been, I've been waiting for, to get my shot at a big one with a gun for a while. Just like everybody else. So, I'm going deer hunting. I'm going to get up in this real cheesy little ladder that's hacked together. It's only about six foot up. And that's where I said I was going, so I'm just going to go with my instincts. I said that like three days ago. Let's go try it. Dude, it's freaking windy. It's freaking cold, too. I want to know what Chops is doing. I've been hunting my bag off. I have no bag left. Old Chops, he's a tricky fella. 
because he's so lazy that you don't know when he's going to move. And when he does, he wants to be left alone. So he does it at night. They're really not that difficult. You just got to find his bedroom, which I have not this year. Pretty tough to find find big jobs as bedroom, especially this time of year, early season. I thought I had one pegged down, and I did. I just couldn't close the deal. I'm in the cheesy ladder. setting up if I see good sign before I get to the spot I want to go I'm gonna I'll just set up and wait the rest of the day or maybe I'll see something but I gotta go slow it's crunchy <sighs> so hopefully I can get something on video if I do see it and I want to shoot it but I'm only going for a big buck this first season second season I'm feeling a dough tag but they're around all right let's get to creeping i've walked halfway around this 200 acre place so far and i found some hellacious rubs dude i didn't even know there was a buck work in that area and now i'm stuck between climbing this tree by this river crossing we're walking clear back out here to this hillside where there's a lot of acorns for them to come and eat. Look at this. I've seen some giants here in the past. It's just early and I don't think that they're into the later part of the, the, the change where they're just bed food, bed food, because it's still the rut. I mean, the does are laying up. I've seen them herded up a little bit already. But there's still bugs, Chris, and I just don't know where the heck to sit. I want to shoot a giant. I don't know, so I'm just sitting here in the stands right above me. This is this is a really good spot. I like this tree. I don't know. I gotta decide here. Because it's already almost 245 or something. All right, I changed spots again. Oh, dude. I'm freaking sweating. It's cold and I'm sweating. I've walked all over the place, keeping myself downwind of the good spots, but being quiet also. So I haven't been like trashing everything. I came back to, on this hillside where there's oaks. There's acorns and stuff. I can't see any because they're under the leaves. I ain't really looking. I'm just freaking tired and wet. So I found a spot where this bug has a small rub line. I found a huge fresh rub. And I'm not even hunting by it. I mean, it's a big old cedar tree just shredded. But I almost think he's bedding up by where I'm at. So I made a scrape. I put one, I went and got one of my cell cams and I moved it over here. But you know, I don't even know if they're even using this very much. I just don't know. Something just told me, come here, come to this spot. So maybe if I do some grunting, maybe snort weeds, if there is a bug in there that thinks he's dominant, he'll come out and want to tango with my Thompson uh, center bone collector muzzle loader. I found one of my 
loose, loose, I lost too. Can you believe what I did this morning? Yeah, 145 to 155 class box, dude. Had them both dead. Dead. Could have blasted them, but I didn't. But really, that was a successful hunt. I could have been bucked out. But you know, I want more. I always want more. So I didn't shoot them. But the second one, when my camera died, when I was like, I'm gonna shoot this murder on the camera, you know? I'm like, gonna show you that at some point. After I said that, he's coming. And my camera died. Some of you might ask why you didn't shoot those bucks. Well, the first, yeah, that second buck, he was big. He was a big nine or a 10, it looked like. All right, so I'm back with good batteries now after that morning with bucks. Dude, I don't even freaking know why I don't shoot them, but there you've seen it. I had, when the battery died on the second one, I had him at 30 yards. These are 150 class bucks. And you know what I'm afraid of? <laughs> it's November 20th or 21st or something. I'm scared of being bucked out already. Because I always like taking it into the last days of hunting season. And you never know when I might get on a real, really big one. 180 or something. <sighs> it's hard but my brother was just a few hundred yards from me and i was trying to scare either one of them to him but it just didn't work out but you got to see it i've, I've done it before in the past <clears throat> where i could have put 
I could have been bucked out 150 class inch bucks easily. I just didn't do it, but it was sure cool watching him rutting that that first buck duty was grunting. Before I turned the camera on, a big fight broke out in the woods to my right. And then out he came. It was craziness. So tonight I'm gonna go back to the spot where that other that second one went, that big one. And if he comes out, I mean that one, that second one was bigger than that first one. If he comes out, I might shoot him tonight. You never know. The wind's going to be absolutely wrong, but I'm going to, I'm just going to try my luck while he's there. Well, we'll see you guys on the big hunt. So, and I didn't know that. So anyway, we didn't get a close up of him because the camera died, but that was the bigger of the two. Good, massive, chubby, bulgy looking beast. So I stood up and I was like, Hey, I scared him back to my brother, but he didn't get a shot at him. The deer went back towards this thicket and blew once, which that's where he's been going the last couple days. So I've done made my mind up. I'm going to go set up on him. If he shows himself tonight, it's the last night of gun season. I'm going to shoot him because it's a good solid buck and anybody in their right mind would be happy with him. So I'm about here to my spot. I got to get all my sporting goods, get the old Bone Collector Thompson Center 50 caliber muzzle loader, and I'm gonna go get set up. All right, I'm in. The wind's not great, but I, I know this deer's in here, and I gotta, I gotta try it. Why he's here? Because this place has been dead. We'll keep trying. 